<clears throat> the congressman. Like I said, the story actually broke in the 1940s or 1950s, basically. Uh, a bunch of congressmen were supposedly going over and basically doing, supposed to be doing work in other countries, you know, doing all kinds of things, basically. Turned out what they were really doing was basically spending money and having sex with women. Like I said, there's lots of congressmen, lots of lots of leaders of the country or something like that that were happily married up until about 1940, 1950, 1960, when basically their wives found out about what they were actually doing overseas in those other countries. A bunch of women, basically, the good women would, would, would stay at home, pretty much the congressmen women would stay at home in America, basically, while their congressmen would go out into the world and go overseas into other countries like China and Japan and basically Germany and other things. And also a bunch of soldiers would be going over there. And what they're really doing was going over there and having sex with women, raping women and doing drugs and doing all kinds of stuff. When the story broke about what they were actually doing in Japan and Germany and all these other places, a bunch of people got divorces simultaneously, basically. Eventually they had to tell their wives or their wives found out, basically. Women basically found out about what their men were doing. Like I said, in the 1940s and 1950s, basically Nixon and JFK and Jimmy Carter and a bunch of other people were trying to promote the good women of America that would stay at home, basically. Anyway, a bunch of women found out what their men were really doing, and their women were actually being faithful to them and actually not having sex with men. Anyway, once the women found out what the men were doing, like I said, there's a bunch of 1940s, 1950s, basically, and 1960s, where a bunch of a bunch of people were trying to uphold marriages and blah, 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 when they found out what their soldiers were actually doing. Like I said, nobody would send uh, Nixon or JFK or whatever. Anyway, a bunch of people found out what the presidents were doing, or the congressmen. Basically, it's a pack of lies. You all find out that basically... The, the, the people in the White House and the congressmen, it's all a big pack of lies. People started hanging around the White House, started hanging around Congress. The civilians, basically. Like I said, at some point in time, some shots were fired from the, from the, from the rooftop of the White House and impacted and actually killed people. Like I said, a lot of people didn't really understand that, 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 that you could actually... A lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of congressmen or a lot of people actually thought that, 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 that you couldn't track a bullet through a body or something, like, or something stupid like that. Anyway, it was found out, although the person was facing the, the wrong way when they died, it was, found, it, it, was, it, it was later on determined that the shot, in fact, did come from the rooftop of the White House. Anyway, it went through one person, basically, at an upward angle, went down through their chest and hit another person in the leg. Which basically means that pretty much somebody in the White House, on the rooftop of the White House, was taking pot shots at the at the at the at the, at the civilians on the ground. Some this happened somewhere between 1940 and 1950. Although it turned out that 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 somewhere in in China, or 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 one of these other countries, there is this house, a White House, or some sort of or some sort of house, and they would go there and they would basically shoot the workers every now and then from a hilltop. Basically, your presidents or your leaders were pretty much... <laughs> anyway, this was somewhere, this was some rice paddy somewhere in in uh, Korea or somewhere in China or Japan where basically they would do human skeet shooting, pretty much. And this person was determined to be Bush or one of the, one of the fake presidents. Well, they would go there and they'd go... Tick, tick, <coughs> at Chinese or Japanese workers who were just picking rice. Anyway, Congress had a, has a lot to answer for. The Republican name was so bad that... that there's no hope or salvation for them. And the Democrats were, are, are determined at some point in time to basically just be older Republicans. The Republican and militia that in Louisiana and some of these other states would basically go up to basically German households and they would rob and take from the chicken coops and rape the women. And then they would take all the stuff from the Germans and they would go and give it to the people in the cities and towns. 
what they called the Republican Party. Because that's all it was. It was a party. Anyway, this is happening, or was happening between 1930 and 1950 and 1960. Eventually the people would find out that it was a German in the nice house up the street where all this stuff came from. And then they found out that the men were killed or the women were raped. So they would rape the women and then they would grab the stuff and then they would go out and they'd give it to the people in the streets and have a party. Basically, the congressmen were using the America or the United States as basically they would do whatever they wanted. Like I said, nobody really realized what JFK and, and Jimmy Carter and Nixon were actually being pardoned for. And what's a pardon anyway? It doesn't mean anything. That's why they were laughing. Holding up the peace sign. Victory. As they were actually being escorted away from, away from China. Like I said, China kicked them out. China kicked Nixon out. China only let Nixon back in because I kind of asked them or something like that. Or actually, I don't think I even let the... I told him to kick him out. And whatever. He tried to go back in over there. Basically, he was a wanted man in China. There's a bunch of people from America thinking that they can just go off into Ireland and Germany. And that the laws didn't apply over there or they could just run back home to America. Like I said, I could extradite from any country I wanted. And any country can extradite from me. I'm not going to keep them. I don't hide murderers or rapists. Anyway, like I said, there's a lot of reasons why they wanted me to change the laws for them. But I wouldn't. That's why when I was like nine or six or eight or something like that, because I was a namer of the country and the creator of humanity, that they wanted me so badly to, to, to lock up the Chinese and the, and, the, and the Germans and everybody else. And I said no, nine times. They are my citizens now. If they're in my country, then they're my citizens. If they're born in my country, then they're part of America. Anyway, I said no nine times. Anyway, whatever. So anyway, there's a lot of reasons why the bunch of people were trying to pretend like they were president or trying to pretend like they were Congress or trying to pretend like they had power, but they really didn't. Because everybody would find out, everybody knew. And meanwhile, these people were going around shooting people. Human skeet shooting. Or having sex with whoever they wanted. Using the Secret Service as some sort of protection system. I said the Secret Service had to listen to the women screaming help inside the White House. At some point in time, they realized that they were protecting murderers and rapists. And it became evidently clear. Just people basically just cashing checks. Living on what was the tax credit. Stealing from the treasury. Like I say, you people get to deal with the facts of, 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 who, of who was in the White House and the congressman. And like I said, it was just a horseshoe place. They used to shoot horses and build wagons at the White House. That's what the side little building in the shed was for. But they didn't really need it anymore because they don't do horse, horseshoes or build wagons anymore. It was the Amish or something. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, like I say, I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, basically Bush's brother was running over people pretending to be drunk or some shit like that. I don't really know. George W. Bush. They don't own oil wells. They, don't, they didn't do shit. It's all lies. Jimmy Carter was trying to claim that they needed things for the military or for the war, but there was no really no war. Other than the wars they were creating. And basically you're going up against a bunch of Irishmen. And a bunch of people from Ireland. Or something like that. I don't really know. I said they went and killed all the people at my at my space, uh, at the, at my space shuttle complex. In, in whatever that, sit, where, where, where that space shuttle complex is. 
Same way they're just running around killing people. Creating wars and lies. Torturing and killing. Except some of my Irishmen and some of my Britons were, Brit British people were ready for them. Like I said, we had weapons. They had weapons. So when they came to kill them... Anyway, they... they they may have died, but they didn't die with a, w w without putting up a fight first. Anyway, like I say, you get to deal with, 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 with what JFK and Jimmy Carter and all of them did. Which was nothing good. Trust me. The Republicans just ran around with cards. Basically, if you didn't let them into your hotels, the Republican militia would come along and kill you. That's what they were doing. It's the only basis of government they had. Now you people get to deal with what they were doing. The public realized eventually. Like I said they were taking pot shots using tanks into 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 Washington City. They'd sit up there on the White House lawn and they would shoot the public or they would shoot cannon off shooting off the tanks into the into the cities. They were driving the tanks around my roads. They would go up to a house uh, uh, up to a building and they would aim the cannon right at the shop and say, Give us all your shit. That's what they're doing. Germany found out about it and went went to Washington to stop it. Whatever. <laughs>